At the time that uh, Aung San went to England uh, to, to uh, arrange the independence of Burma, somehow or other the message came over at seas that British did not give him independence. Actually, he got independence. And now the Karens had never been subject to the Burmese. They'd always been their own tribe. But during British occupation, they, they kind of were with the Burmese. So when independence finally came, and the Burmese decided they'd heard that they weren't going to get independent, a huge rebellion broke out all over. It was just horrible. And uh, the Burmese governor got murdered. But anyhow, it was, it was a big mess. There was a big rebellion. And the, the Burmese wanted to subjugate the Karens, and the Karens resisted this. And this is when Bauji took charge, and he kind of had a, an army of his own to keep the Karens separate. And this thing went on a lot. And he used to do quite a bit of traveling to help people out. And when we were expelled, when the Burmese expelled all foreigners from India, not just white foreigners, but Chinese, Indians, anybody, just out. Well, we hired a truck, a bus, and halfway to where we were, we were on our way to the train that would take us to Bangkok, and halfway there, it broke down. And fortunately for us, Bauji was traveling at that time, and he came by in his two or three jeeps, and bless his heart, he stopped to find out what was the problem. He picked us up, he took us, Penny sat on his lap. We, he took us to his home, fed us overnight, sent us on our way rejoicing. A very nice man. But he, of course, was assassinated also. It was a bad time. Just everybody seemed to be fighting everybody.